Morning Wolf Pack. I'm Nina McGill. And I'm Isabel Herman. Today is Wednesday, February 2nd, and we're here with your morning announcements. The NHS Blood Drive is tomorrow, February 3rd. If you are participating, be sure to eat a big breakfast and lunch, drink lots of water in the coming days. In honor of Black Lives Matter Week of Activism, Student Equity Council is hosting stands during both lunches all week. There will be trivia, prizes, and much more. Also, be sure to pick up a Black Lives Matter armband to show solidarity on Friday. Congratulations to one of our very own orchestra students, Benjamin Jiang, for being one of two winners of the concerto competition with the Sacramento Youth Symphony. This was the second time he's won the competition. His previous win was two years ago when as a seventh grader. Let's check out his performance from last Thursday. Now let's pass it on over to Ashley and Noah Fari in the news update. Good morning, I'm Noah Seed. And I'm Ashley Borton. And we're here with your in the news update. The deployment of 3,000 United States troops has been formally approved in light of the tensions between Russia and Ukraine. 8,500 U.S. troops have been put on heightened alert if they are needed. However, there are many troops within NATO that are made up of European countries closer to the Russian-Ukraine border. Pentagon Press Secretary John Kirby explained that 2,000 troops would be deployed from the United States to Poland and Germany, 1,000 troops already being based in Germany, moving to Romania. In weather news, a storm stretching from New Mexico to Maine has caused 100 million people in the U United States to go under winter weather alerts. Over 1,400 flights have been canceled. In economic news, around 300,000 jobs have cuts have been made in the past month, affecting industries such as trade, transportation, utilities, manufacturing, education, health services, and many more. These job cuts come as Omicron continues to cause a rise in COVID cases. Economics estimate that the effects of these job cuts will be seen as long as COVID cases are on the rise and more may be on their way. In recent days, historical black colleges around the country have been receiving bomb threats while law enforcement has yet to find explosives at any of the affected campuses. Students and faculty remain on high alert. Various law enforcement agencies including the FBI, the ATF, and local police agencies are investigating. Lack of information due to the many ongoing investigations is a large cause of anxiety for students and faculty at these campuses. Well, that's all we have for your in the news update. I'm Noah Seed. And I'm Ashley Borton. Back, Back to the anchors. Thanks, guys. Tomorrow, the counseling department will ho be hosting a parent university from 7, 6 to 7 p.m. on Zoom. Counselors will be there to answer questions and give information about course selection for the next year. Check your Synergy email for the Zoom link. In celebration of Lunar New Year, the Vietnamese Student Association will be making paper lanterns today in Library One, so make sure to stop by. Let's take a closer look into Lunar New Year. Here's a quick video from our Student Equity Council. According to a Chinese myth, the Jade Emperor wanted 12 animals to be his Heavenly Gate guards, and being animals had to get to the Heavenly Gate first, which determined the rank. This means that the theme of the animal changes each year and is a cycle of 12 years. The rat got up very early. On his way to the gate, he encountered a large river. He had to stop there, but after waiting a long time, the rat noticed that the ox was about to cross the river and jumped right into the ox's ear. The diligent ox simply continued. After crossing the river, he raced towards the palace of the Jade Emperor. Suddenly, the rat jumped out of the ox's ear and won first place. The ox was then ranked second by the emperor. The tiger and the rabbit became third and fourth because they are both fast and competitive, but the tiger was faster. The good-looking dragon was fifth, and the Jade Emperor who noticed him said that his son could be sixth. However, the son did not come with him that day. Just then, the snake said that the dragon was his adopted father, so the emperor then ranked the snake sixth. The horse and the goat soon arrived after. They were kind and modest and let each other go first. The Jade Emperor noticed this and ranked them seventh and eighth. The monkey had fallen well behind, but he jumped between the trees and the stones and caught up to be ninth. The last of the twelve were the rooster, the dog, and the pig. 
When you are born in the year of a particular animal, they say you have the corresponding traits. Shown below are some of the many examples of traits or characteristics that each of the 12 zodiacs have. For example, rats can be quick-witted and versatile. Happy Lunar New Year, Wolfpack! That's all we have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Ina McGill. And I'm Isabel Herman. Remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy, Happy Groundhog Day, Wolfpack! Wolfpack.